What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So GoFest is just around the corner, so I thought I would make an updated version of how I manage my Pokemon storage and make sure I have space for any upcoming event. I did make a video about this in the past. I will link the old version below. However, I don't really like what I explained in it as it wasn't very straightforward and easy to follow. But today we're doing an updated one. Let's hop right into it. Timestamps below as always. So first off, before I start, I wanna say you don't have to listen to any of me and this goes for any of my videos before people say, oh, this is not how you do it. Play the game how you want to. I just wanna go through my exact method of how I do it, feel free to follow it or do whatever method you might do. You might already have a method. Today, let me go through the simplest method for you guys. So first thing you wanna do, come into your Pokemon storage. You're gonna wanna go ahead and sort by number. Next, in your Pokemon storage, I'm gonna leave this search thread below, but this is what you're gonna wanna search. Exclamation point shiny and exclamation point mythical and exclamation point shadow and exclamation point at special and exclamation point legendary and exclamation point for star. Star. Once you've searched that, you can go ahead and just click the back button, click the search bar, click the see more. You're gonna see it in your recent searches. I just want you guys to go ahead and long hold on that. That's gonna favor that search thread so you can quickly just search it whenever you need. Now, what this search thread does is it removes all shinies, legendaries, mythicals, Pokemons with legacy moves, Pokemon that are perfect IV, and shadow Pokemon from your search, meaning that these are pretty much all, in my opinion, Pokemon that you could possibly transfer. Of course, there are some three stars in here, so some 98%, but pretty much what you're gonna wanna do now is go through all of these Pokemon. Of course, I have 2,500 of these, you might have less you wanna choose which ones you want to go ahead and keep. Now you might be like, Pokedaxi, what do I keep? I'm completely new at the game, I don't know. Let me walk you through a couple of resources I used when I was just getting started to help me figure this out. Before I tell you what is relevant and what is not, I wanna talk about a separate category, which is Pokemon you like. If there's a certain shiny Pokemon you love, a certain, you know, you love Pikachu, it's your favorite Pokemon ever, feel free to keep all your Pikachus. It's up to you what you're gonna to wanna to keep. Of course, you might have to throw a couple on the chopping block today, just to make sure you have space for GoFest or whatever event. But remember, if you like a Pokemon and it brings you happiness, that's the most important thing. But if you wanna know what actual relevant Pokemon, let me show you how to find. First of all, if you love PvP or you think you're gonna get into PvP one day, you wanna come to pvpoke.com, click on the rankings here, and here you can see all the best PvP Pokemon for each league. You can pretty much scroll through here and find any Pokemon that might be good and you might want to use in PvP. So for example, here, Diggersby, which is the evolution of Bunnelby, you might wanna keep one Bunnelby so you can use a Diggersby in the Great League. And at the top here, you can choose the other league. So Great League, the Great League Remix, which is a special cup going on, Ultra League as well, Master League as well. So you can come through here and look at all the Pokemon and compare them to the Pokemon you're looking here to find out if I should be keeping one or two of that Pokemon so you can save it for the leagues. Remember, when you are keeping any Pokemon on this website for PvP, you wanna have low attack, high defense, high stamina. Here's a perfect example of a Bulbasaur I could keep and go ahead and use as a Venusaur in the Great League. Venusaur is actually ranked 37 in the Great League, so a great pick. Just be sure if you're keeping any Pokemon for this PvP website, you go ahead and keep low attack, high defense, high stamina. If you don't know why, it actually makes the Pokemon bulkier. I have a full video explaining all of that, which you can check out carded up here or link below after you watch this video. If you're curious on that, one exception for the Master League and certain Ultra League Pokemon. Master League, you just want as high IV set as you can. So you just want 100% IV. But for Great League and Ultra League, the majority of Pokemon, not all of them, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get low attack, high defense, high stamina. Those are Pokemon relevant for PVP. I'm gonna leave that website link below. But the second one is for raids. If you're curious, what are the best Pokemon for raids? Well, I'm gonna leave a link below to the Game Press Pokemon Comprehensive DPS spreadsheet. On this page, you're gonna wanna scroll down to this this little search bar here. You wanna go ahead and search at, then the little asterisk sign, and then a typing. Let's go with water, for example. Up here, I just like to click the best. It'll show the best instance of each Pokemon. Now I can come here and sort by DPS times TDO. This is probably for most of the average players that will wanna go ahead and search by this. Now you can go ahead and look at all the best Pokemon as a water type attacker for raids. We have Mega Swampert, obviously not out. Mega Blastoise is the only Pokemon that is currently out that is the best water type attacker. So you wanna keep a good IV Blastoise. Now contradict to the PvP IVs, for this Pokemon, you want the highest possible IVs. So if you might think you wanna keep a Squirtle for Mega Blastoise, you wanna make sure it's as close to 100% IV as you can, 98%, 96%, whatever that may be. Just go ahead and keep these Pokemon. With those two websites, you can find out what Pokemon are good for PvP and for raids, and then of course, keep any Pokemon you might like. Now, pretty much what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead, click on a Pokemon, pop up the IVs and you're gonna go ahead and just start scrolling through every Pokemon and marking the ones you want to keep. You can either give them a special nickname if you have a nickname convention set up using an app like Poke Genie. Link below to a video on how to set up a automatic naming convention if you are curious on how to do that. Or if you wanna make it simple for people with less bag space, just give it a little favorite icon in the top right corner. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll through all the Pokemon I might wanna keep. You see, of course, these Charmanders I'm scrolling by because I don't wanna keep them, but let's see if we can find like, for example, here, this this 
is a 000 IV Charmander. I'm gonna keep this because this is a cool trophy for me. So I went ahead and started. This is probably the longest part of cleaning your storage, pretty much going through and marking all the Pokemon that you might wanna keep in this little bunch. Again, use those websites I mentioned to know what Pokemon are the most relevant and what Pokemon aren't. And I even do have a video on the best Pokemon to power up. So if you kinda don't wanna do that work, you can check out that video as I do talk about all the best Pokemon that are on these websites. Now, once you've gone ahead and done that, all you need to do is pretty much go ahead, click on one of the Pokemon. You can either, you know, individually select all of them. So pretty much just go through like this, select all the ones that you didn't nickname or didn't mark. So we're just going through da 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 da. Or you can click the select all button if you are feeling risky. I want to note that the select all button will not transfer any Pokemon you have favorited. So if I go ahead and select all and click the transfer button right now, that Bulbasaur right there that is favorited will not get transferred. Of course, if you just use the naming convention and you didn't actually go ahead and favorite the ones you want to keep, you might have to individually select everything. Like for example, me, I don't usually favorite my PVP IV Pokemon unless they're completely powered up and double move. Go ahead and transfer all of those Pokemon. Now that probably took a huge chunk out of your Pokemon storage. You might have enough space now for your liking for GoFest or whatever event might be coming up. If you want to get more deep and even transfer more Pokemon that might have been chilling in your bag for too long and it's time to do a deep dive search to delete them, let's go through some individual ones. First of all, just search shiny and you can go ahead and start transferring all the extra shinies that you might want to transfer. Of course, some of you might not have any shinies or barely any shinies and you want to keep them all. People like me, I have so many shiny Machops that I still haven't transferred from the community day. So of course, I'm going to go ahead and transfer some of these. Mainly, this is going to be the time to transfer community day shinies that you have too many of or even just shinies that are like lucky trades that you're never going to power up. Like for example, here, this Pidgey. Oh, it's actually a pretty good one, 96 IV. Just, just go ahead and transfer any shinies that you know might have been chilling in your bag for too long. It might be time to get rid of. Let's check out this Slowpoke Lucky, for example. Oh, this one's actually good too. I might power that one up. But yeah, go ahead and look through your shinies individually. I have 728 shinies, so this might take me a long time, but for some of you and most of you, this probably won't take as long. But go ahead and transfer a couple shinies. I know you might end up only transferring 20 Pokemon, but 20 extra spots does help during special events. Now you want to go ahead and search legendary and not shiny and not shadow. And then comma, mythical and not shiny and not shadow. This will filter out all your shiny legendaries and mythicals and your shadow legendaries and mythicals. Shadow mythicals are not a thing. Pretty much just showing you all your mythical and legendary Pokemon. Now, it depends how many legendary raids you do do. Some of you might not have a lot, but I have 408 mythical and legendary Pokemon. For example, here I have 100% IV Articuno, 98, 98, 98, 96, 96. But then I have like this Articuno and this Articuno and this Articuno. I can go ahead and transfer these Articunos. I'm never going to power them up. The IVs are not good. They do have legacy moves actually, so I could go ahead and uh, trade those. That's not a great example, but, but let's take a look at like, you know, this Reggie Rock, for example. This Reggie Rock, I'm most likely never going to trade this. It's bad IV. I'm not going to power it up or anything, so I might as well go ahead and transfer them. I just want you guys to go ahead and take a look at all your mythicals and legendaries. Decide, are you going to power these up? Are you ever going to use these? Are you ever going to trade these Pokemon away? And you have to think about this as well for your shinies when you're going through those shinies as well. Are you ever going to use these Pokemon? Are you ever going to power them up? Do they mean something to you? Ask yourself those questions and clear out some of your legendaries and mythicals. I like just searching this because it allows me to get a deep dive look at all of my legendaries and all my mythicals and see which ones do I really need to keep and which ones do I not need to keep. Of course, you can go ahead and look through the websites I did mention, PV Poke and the DPS spreadsheet so you can find out if any of these are good raid attackers or in PVP. Next, I'm gonna go through at special. So at special will show you any Pokemon with legacy moves. Legacy moves are exclusive moves that you can get during special events and these are pretty good value for trading because people want these moves as they're really hard to get. However, However, there are certain legacy moves that are not very good and don't have much use and are just kind of a meme. For example, Smeargle, every single Smeargle knows a legacy move because Smeargle cannot be TM'd. And then also, let me see if I can find an example, Bidoof. So Bidoof just had a very recent event and he got like Super Power and Ice Beam. He got a bunch of legacy moves. When I was doing that first search, that first uh, super long search thread, I was removing all legacy move Pokemon. So none of these Bidoof showed up, but of course I don't want to keep, you know, 200 Super Power Bidoofs. So now this gives you a chance to go through all your legacy move Pokemon. Pokemon. You're not going to be transferring the majority of these because you want to keep them. But of course, some of the meme legacy move Pokemon like, um, you know, the Bidoof, for example, the Smeargles, you might want to go ahead and transfer them as you know, they have no use for you. No one's going to want you to trade them. So go ahead and look through all your legacy move Pokemon. Next, I like to search shadow comma purified. This will pretty much show you all your shadow and purified Pokemon. I like to look at these separate because I kind of find transferring these Pokemon is harder to do as some of these are actually exclusive. Like for example, uh, shadow Blastoise, you cannot currently
currently get in Pokemon Go, so I want to make sure I do not transfer that. Even if the IVs are terrible, um, which I think these are pretty good. Yeah, these are decent IVs. Even if the IVs are terrible, you don't want to go ahead and transfer them. So I like to go through pretty much all my shadows and purified Pokemon and transfer them individually. Pretty much just scroll through them, mark all the ones I want to keep like we did before. And then after I'll come from this menu and I'll go ahead and start selecting the ones I do want to transfer. For example, like this Nidoran. Um, so that is something to look at specifically. Shadow and purified Pokemon. Which ones are you keeping? Which ones are you not? Check the websites I mentioned before to know. And then if any of them do mean anything to you, go ahead and keep them. Final one I like to look at individually is traded Pokemon. Since you can only trade a Pokemon once, once a Pokemon is traded, if the IV set is bad, there's no point in keeping it because you can't go ahead and trade it to anyone. If you're not going to power it up, there's no point in keeping it. Me, of course, I have a lot of pretty much lucky trades I have done and I've gotten IV sets. For example, like this Bunnery, for example, this Pidgey, this Shiny Slowpoke. I've done lucky trades to get these Pokemon. This Bunnery came out with really bad IVs. 12, 13, 14 is pretty bad IV set for a lucky trade. So I'm never going to power this up. I'm, I have a better Bunnery and non-shiny one that I can use. So I'm just going to go ahead and transfer this Pokemon. I want you guys to go through all your traded Pokemon and pretty much any of them that you're not going to ever power up or ever use. Go ahead and transfer because there is no point in keeping it since you cannot trade it again. You cannot give it to someone else. The IV set that this Pokemon has is going to be the IV set that it'll have forever. So go ahead and transfer any of these traded Pokemon that you have. Some of them are lucky. Some of them might not be lucky. As you can see, the majority of the Pokemon I do have here, I am most likely going to power up and use. Finally, once you've done all that, I'm going to come back sort by number and I'm going to go ahead and pretty much just scroll through my storage and look at it as a grand scheme of things and look if there's any Pokemon that snuck by my system here and got through that you do not want to keep. Questions to ask yourself guys when you are going through is are you going to power this Pokemon up? Does this Pokemon make you happy? Will you ever use this Pokemon? Will you ever trade this Pokemon to someone? Those are a couple questions you can ask yourself. I am afraid you might have to throw a couple good Pokemon that you might like on the chopping block just to have the extra space for Pokemon Go Fest or whatever event might be coming up but that's just the matter of clearing storage space. Sometimes it's not the most exciting thing. I hope my system there is very basic and makes you really easy for you guys to transfer Pokemon. The thought process behind it is I have a good search thread to kind of chunk out the majority of Pokemon and then I can individually go through all the more delicate search threads like shinies, legendaries, all that. And I can kind of like individually pick what Pokemon I do want to go ahead and transfer. Final thing I want to note is when you are transfer Pokemon, come to your settings. If you choose expanded groove transfer, it allows you to mass transfer mythicals and legendaries. So if you are doing the mythical and legendary section and you don't want to individually transfer all of them, just make sure this is checked on and you can go ahead and mass transfer them. This includes Pokemon like Melton, of course, too, if you are trying to transfer Meltons. By the way, to individually transfer your Pokemon, click on three bars, click the transfer button here, and then you can click yes. Or to mass transfer, you just go ahead and long press and then the transfer button is at the bottom. Guys, that's pretty much the video. I would love for you guys to comment below your clearing techniques. How do you do it? What are the steps you take to clear storage? Or do you just go ahead and pretty much just scroll through and say, hey, I don't want that. Hey, I don't want that or do you even have a system love for you guys to comment below and also comment below how much storage space are you at how much free space are you going to be running during pokemon go fest are you going to be quickly transferring during pokemon go fest as you go are you going to be going in with a thousand free space so you don't have to transfer it during the day i would love to know guys thank you for watching this video i hope it helped you guys out we're going to see you guys in the next one follow for more tips baby peace